Um, all right, so let's start. We're gonna start. I have a timetable when we when we want to talk about matches. This one's coming up. Before we even get into this, I'm gonna let you know real quick about the betting structure for WrestleMania. You will not. You will not be betting Spucks at WrestleMania. You're gonna be betting a new, a new uh, format, a new. T- uh, uh, what's the uh, coin? Uh, whatever token total that is called marks. Uh, it's something we're using because of wrestling marks. It's a way to to use it. And you will all be given. I am giving everyone. 500 marks to bet on WrestleMania. Okay? Now, when it comes down to it, the marks are going to transfer over into Spucks. You will be getting your marks in Spucks later, but it, it won't be a full conversion. It'll be a 5 to 1 conversion later. But this gives you more marks to bet and, and to spread around. And what's going to happen is the matches are going to have label uh, number labels on them. There are 20 bets that you can make. Nine matches and then a 11 prop bets that you can make. And tonight, we're, as we talk about them, we're going we're gonna to come up with the odds for these matches. And you will be betting your 500 marks. And the reason we're doing it this way is because... Smoke's going to start out with a certain number of marks. I'm going to start out with a certain number of marks. I mean, we're all going to start out with 500 marks. Uh, and let's say at the end, when it's all said and done, I end up with 1,312 marks. Smoke ends up with 1,530 marks. And USC Punk ends with, with 1,782 marks. Well, we know Punk won WrestleMania. We started with the same amount, and Punk beat us by making better, wiser bets, better bets on... Bet, making the right choices on higher odds, so it is a much e- a much better way to gauge who did better at WrestleMania. So, uh, it is a bet. All right, Jimmy Uso is the winner. So I don't know if anyone put that on. Uh, let me negative. Negative. So. Dragox had 10 on Cesaro that you didn't write in. But besides that, so... So, the, the money... There's no real money. It's... it's it's Spucks is the in-game currency. In, in-stream currency is all it is. In-stream currency. You're going to be re- receiving 500 to bet on that match. All matches. All right? Um, so... We will teach you how to bet, and I'm about to teach you how to bet on the first match. Bet on match number one, which is the Uso match. That's the pre-show match that happens before. Now, guys, you can start betting on this match. Oh, no, we can't. We're not doing SmackDown bets because you can look them up. Damn it. Well, we can bet on Royal Rumbles and uh, Supercard, I guess. So, everyone's going to start with 500. I'm giving everyone 500. All right? And you'll bet. Now, that match is going to be match number one. All right? And you have the Usos, Cesaro and Kid, the Los Matadores, and the New Day. Those are your four options to that match. So, right now, Smoke and I are going to discuss that match and what we think. And between the two of us, we're going to come up with the odds for that match. All right? If you guys want to weigh in on your thoughts on that match... And how much um, uh, you think that uh, certain odds should be for certain ones? We'll definitely read what you have to say, but uh, we don't know. It won't necessarily be what the odds are. These are going to be odds based on essentially how I read it. Okay? No, you're not betting on the website. You're betting right here on the bot, and I'm going to show you how once we get going. All right. Okay. Real, real quick, did you want to uh, give your quick thoughts about this year's Mania versus other years? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, I personally am almost exactly the opposite of you. Um, I feel that the okay, the build up for it is weak, which is kind of what you said, and I agree with that. I agree that having the three biggest matches of Mania 
having one member of those th each of those three matches not showing up on TV for months, uh, just randomly, if at all, is is a poor way to go about building up the top of your card. Um, that being said, I think we all want to see those top three matches enough that they did enough. I really can't complain. I don't care that Sting wasn't there. I want to see Sting versus Triple H. I don't care that Taker wasn't there. I want to see Taker at WrestleMania. So I don't really have a problem with it in that sense. Um, also, uh, uh, so from the build-up sense, but from a wrestling sense, I'm a little worried. Uh, I think Roman Reigns versus Brock can be a decent match, but when you get with the bigger guys like that, um, it doesn't tend to... Like last year, you had Daniel Bryan in there with Randy Orton, and then you still had a big guy in Batista to throw those power moves around. But if you even if you go back to Royal Rumble when it was Brock and Rollins and Cena, you had Brock to throw those big moves around, but you still had Rollins to do all the cool stuff that we really want to see in those main events. And uh, so I don't see that being a great wrestling match compared to what some, some of them could be. Triple H and uh, Sting, they're both great all-time wrestlers, but where are they in their career, and can they really carry a match together without the youth in it? And then Taker and Bray Wyatt, well, we saw what Taker did with Brock last year, and Brock is a beast, and now we're asking Bray Wyatt to carry him a year later, having not wrestled at all. I'm not sure that those big three matches can hold up on the wrestling terms. That being said... I think that the latter match will more than will steal the show. I think it's going to be the, the best match of the Mania. I think that Randy and Rollins could really do well. Um, uh, I think that the tag team match, although on the pre-show, could be a pretty decent match. Uh, so I think it's going to be average to slightly above average wrestling-wise, but most of it's going to be on the lower end, not on the higher end, and that's what worries me about this WrestleMania. So that's my thought. I'm waiting, though. I'm really anxious to see it from a storyline standpoint. I'm wait. I, I'm anxious to see where we go forward from here. So right, fair enough. Um, real quick, did you want to mention too about you know people are asking about making their bets? Right. Well, I, that's why I was saying know. it's going to happen in the bot. I want to talk a little, and then I'm going to say this is the format for betting. So okay. that I, if I say it now, then they may not hear our thing. They may want to bet before we do. Um, uh, before we get to that before we, well, we, not only that, but before we put uh, odds in. Right. right. So, so yeah. let's talk about the four uh, tag teams in the match. All right, yeah, we got Woz Matadores, Kid and Cesaro, who are the current champs, the Usos, and New Day. Who is going to be the two of the three for New Day, do you know? Um, I don't, but it's been Kofi and Big E for a while now. Um, they could throw a wrench and and give us Xavier Woods, but he's kind of since his injury, he's come back and wrestled a couple times, but he's he's mainly been relegated to management duties ish. So I expect it to be Kofi and Big E. Yeah, I can see that. It makes sense. And they're kind of the two of the more established guys. So if anyone's going to get a mania mania match, it would be those two of the three. Right. So. Exactly. I can see Xavier gets his his. His moment by being there in the corner, but he doesn't get in the match over the other two guys. It just doesn't make sense to me. So, so, who is winning this match for you? I mean, I can understand why this match is going to be on the pre-show. I know you just mentioned a few minutes ago, wrestling-wise, you think this match has potential somewhat. Um, I don't know. I personally, I don't think this match is going to be that good. I think I personally don't care too much about it. I don't think it's going to be that good. Um, one of the main reasons is I think originally they probably intended on slipping the Ascension in this match. Um, that way you would have you know two heel tag teams, two face tag teams in that sense. Um, I agree with I know that. Ascension's fallen off lately, but at least they had a good start. So from that standpoint, I think it would have been better to at least have them in there. Um, I, I don't think New Day or Liz Matadors are going to win this match, like, for sure. i not hyped up on either of them. Liz Matadors, every time they're 
they come out or every time they're about to wrestle. I've been skipping those matches lately, to be honest. Like the interspecies match a couple weeks ago, I'm like, really? I don't know. I'm just questioning it. And you've already talked about New Day in the past. I don't even want to get in the New Day. I think it just totally backfired. I think it's just kind of typical WWE with that group. Um, I agree. With all that being said, I think Kins is our retain. I could see the Usos having a chance. I would say for sure Kid and Cesaro, and I'm just using like this weird reverse psychology because lately the Usos have been losing left and right. I know one of the two had an injury a couple weeks ago, like actual injury that's been slowing them down. Like some people were questioning if they were even going to make it to this match. Um, so I could see with the reverse psychology sense that I've mentioned is they've been so bad lately they haven't won a many matches and that's, lately. And that is one of the things where I just I, think they might steal it, but. I think Why, that's one I of the think things. Kiss is the way to go. Yeah, I think one of the things WWE likes to do is they like to make a, someone look weak by losing. Hey, Kiss Rocks, how you doing? Uh, no, we haven't we haven't discussed betting yet, Thug. We're going over the first match, and then I'm going to myself bet, and I'm going to show you how we bet by me doing it myself and explaining it to you. So, um, I agree. One of the things WWE likes to do um, is they like to let the person that's going to win lose a lot before the match, look weaker going into it so you don't believe it as much, so it's more of a surprise when they do win. So Usos is definitely one of the ones that could come away with this. Um, that being said, if they want this division to build, they can't keep the belts on the Usos all the time. Um, I agree with you that Cesaro and Kid retaining makes more sense. Um, I agree with you with the Ascension thing. Ascension would have made more sense than Los Matadores. You could see, and we kind of talked about this a little off stream, they've kind of turned Los Matadores heelish just for the match. So they could have too bad, too good, even though everyone, no one thinks of them as bad. Um, but they've done it for this situation just so that they can have two heels and, and, and two uh, faces. I think someone wanting to take a gamble could put money on Los Matadores uh, probably over New Day. Um, I'm saying that we should put, as far as the odds, we should put New Day and, and Los Matadores the same. Maybe uh, one gets you five, um, something like that. And then uh, Usos down to one gets you three, and then Cesaro and Kid one gets you two. Something around that, because that's how I'm viewing it. Tyson Kid Cesaro should retain. Usos do have a possibility, and if someone wanted to really try to gamble, there is a chance that someone like Los Matadores could come away with this because that's it's one of those sins like the Usos hit the splash off the top rope, and then the Matador throws him out and pins him. So it was like the Usos won, but the Matadors stole it. They like to do that kind of stuff too. And if they're trying to build a division, they may go that route. So I don't want to be too big of a spread, but I can see that uh, that setup. Um, the one thing that I do want to mention is, in your head, and I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to everyone here, you've got to look at the other three championship matches and say, John Cena Rusev, is a title going to change? Roman Reigns, uh, Brock Lesnar, is the title going to change? Is the Intercontinental title going to change? Based on that, what's the chances that this title is going to change as well? Because if you just said those three are going to change, they, I don't see them changing all titles in one night. So there's that adds to the Cesaro Kid a aspect as well. So Yeah. I kind of had the same thought I was actually about to mention too as you were discussing the... Uh not even so much the title change. I've seen not only just Mania, but, Mania, but other pay-per-views. In the pre-show on some random match, they'll throw in the surprise upset. Just to kind of get people in this mindset that, oh my god, the Matadors actually won that match. You know, what other surprises are in store for exactly. later? And then everything comes out kind of vanilla. So I, I can see what you're saying there. Not only just from the title change, but also just from the trying to build up a little bit of shock factor exactly know, so. exactly they had the they had each team fight each team and the matadors won all their matches so i mean that was like pump matadors pump matadors pump matadors pump matadors either they're doing that just to make us believe that they have a chance or they're doing that because that's the one they're going to slowly sneak it on and surprise us you know what i'm saying so right. That being said, we're moving into a time period for the next match to be explained. Let's go ahead and uh, 
make our bets on this match and show the people how to bet for this match. All so right. just a quick uh, reminder, you all have 500 marks. 500 marks to bet, that's all you can bet, and the bot will keep you in mind. When betting, this is how you bet. This is match number one, and there will be a list. There will be a list somewhere. Um, let's see if I can do it here. There you go, here's the list. This is number one, bet number one, bet number two, you see here. And this list will be on the, the website eventually. As you see, this Kid and Cesaro is green. That's because they're the current champions. Um, so what did you think about what I said as the split? One versus, one gets you. I like, go ahead. I like, um, I'm good with New Day and Mad five to one each. Okay. I think Uso should be two to one. I think Kid Cesaro should be one to one. Okay. But, but if you're good with that, I'm good with that. But okay, I'm, I'm good with that. I can I can go with that. So one gets you th uh, two on the Usos. One gets you five on the New Day. One gets you five on the Matadors. And one gets you two. Oh, no, one. One gets you one on Kid and Cesaro. So there's your odds, guys. Uh, you kind of can't see it because of the way we... Let's get that in there. So now you can see it. All right. So to bet, all you do is you do exclamation point bet one. That's saying which bet I'm doing. I'm doing bet match number one. Space. Who you think's going to win. Who you're putting your money on. And how much you're putting on them. And there it is. Uh, and it didn't work. Murder, why didn't work? Um, can we leave the list? The Cesaro kid? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. It's not actually keeping... It's writing it to a text file. So, it's... I guess I can check to make sure they're going in there. I thought it was supposed to tell me... I guess maybe it doesn't tell me. Hold on. Yeah, he said it doesn't tell you. Oh, okay. I thought it told me. I thought when it happened, it told me you have now bet ten. You have four hundred and ninety left to bet. So that's fine. That was my fault. I misunderstood. Uh, Punk. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep bringing it back up, but we are gonna keep wrestling going in in the the matches. Uh, plus, I don't want you guys betting before we get a chance to talk about them and put odds on them. You could right now say, "Oh, bet five is Randy and Seth." I know I'm betting Seth for this amount. Well, what happens if I make Seth? A hundred gets you one, and Randy one gets you seven thousand. You think maybe you're gonna bet on Randy then? So I want people to be able to see what the bet odds are first. And I'm matching your bet on that. I agree. And I'm not putting uh, much because I'm not putting much importance on this match to be honest. Oh, I think Kiss Rocks. What you did wrong was you can't put spaces. Boomer, you, you can't put a space is what you're going to have to do. Um, is just Usos, just New Day, one word. Uh, guys, that's got to be one contained word there. So do it again. And uh, it, it won't, like, double charge. Well, I don't think it'll double charge you. Spaces are bad. 